Hello, Ken with New Tech Inventors here. I'm down at the Friend Farm. Been doing a lot of work down here the past few weeks. Thought I'd just give you a quick update on what everything looks like. It's uh, Saturday, about 8 o'clock Saturday evening, and just finished doing some work both inside and outside. I think in some of the earlier videos, the very beginning, I showed you the outside of the building and a lot of stuff we had around out there. Well, we've cleared all that out and cleaned that up and made more room for parking because we are expecting to have some people helping us here in addition to the two or three people that are starting to help me now. But anyway, just to go through things a little bit, I had to work a little bit on the internet down here in the building and my camera system. As we talked about before, I use the video cameras to monitor everything down here when we're running. Of course, nothing's running tonight. I'm still there for a while I was running some jobs on the weekend but now we've completely stopped printing on the weekend for a couple of weeks because we've got so many other things going on let me show you a little bit of what's happening here of course we've rearranged this a little bit I've got my computer and do some testing here we put the other shelf in that I was talking about we've got the three large format ANET A8 Plus printers here and one more still in the box that will be coming in. We'll be assembling it pretty soon. And I also have some new King Rune KP3s, so I'll probably raise that lower shelf up and put them down there. Of course, the ANET wall is still pretty much the same. We also have eight ANETs in this center shelf unit here and here's the um, AT4 and the Creality Ender 3 that we were doing a little bit of experimenting around with and down this side over here we have more A nets on the lower side these are Tronic CXY2 Pros here and one of them up here and some other Tronic C printers and camera system here. We've got the the different cameras set up to monitor different things. I can monitor those from the house and see what's going on. So, and this is the back side with the other A nets. Some of them with the PEI sheets and then we have this upper shelf that's empty right now that will eventually put some printers up there on it. So that's what's going on and these are some of the lap diners down here that we've been 3D printing. I had to have some place to stick them until we went through and checked them filament counter down there. Got everything in pretty good shape down here. We've been printing a lot of parts and getting the the different parts assembled. Just to give you an idea of the a few of the parts, we've got these little clips here to hold the wires on the table mount. Helping hands. Miscellaneous parts. These are. This is a dual in the scope holder. These are the parts that hold the vice clamp. These are the parts that go on the table mount. This is the male end of the support rod. And this is the female end of the support rod. And these are some of the microscope holders. 
these are brown strap holders for the lap diner and these are the microscope holders for the helping hand that hold the microscope and these are some blank fillers in orange and coming around here we have some of the table mounts for the helping hand. These are the locking mechanisms for the powered base of the helping hand. These are uh, cross-line laser adapter holders. These are the power box covers for the helping hand power unit. And these are some of the orange strap holders for the lap diner. And these are the extension arm adapters for the helping hand. These are the tall parts that go with the microscope. And these pieces right here are the large holder for the these are the the holder for the large magnifier lens so these pieces make the holder for that we've got a lot of these blank fillers some of the parts I still print up at the house what we've been doing in the past we print these parts down here and then I'll take, once I get so many of them, I'll take them up to the house, and I was doing the assembly up there. Recently, we've started doing some of the assembly down here. I've got a little area in the next room set up where we're doing some soldering, some of the heat shrink, and assembling different components of the helping hand here. So hopefully we'll keep moving more and more of that down here and expanding. I have another room on the other side I was looking at a while ago, trying to figure out what all I need to get it in operation. I need to put a HVAC unit in over there like I did over here, which would just be one of those mini splits, and do a little bit of electrical wiring over there. Not a whole lot, but once I get that done, then I'll be able to move all the assembly down here. And one reason we were working outside, I'm trying to make enough room out there where I have a little bit of a parking lot where people can get in here and get in and get out without any problem. And I'd like to get it set up to where I can park about five or six vehicles out there. It looks like we're just about there. I'm going to probably have to order a load of gravel next week because we've opened it up so much now that we've thinned the gravel out and need to do something with that. So anyway, lots of stuff going on inside and out. I did a 30-minute video a few days ago, not for the YouTube channel, but for marketing people that are doing the marketing for the Helping Hand and that will put the advertising or marketing material on the Amazon store with the product. Supposedly that'll help explain to people what the helping hand does once we get it on amazon if they're scrolling through there just looking at things and come upon the helping hand it's probably going to look to them like some kind of a robotic spider and they'll see all these flexible arms coming out of it and like what in the world is that or what can that do so you have to have more than just a picture of it that picture has to have the proper text 
around it, describing it. There have to be some pictures or illustrations showing how it being used or how it can be used. And that's all part of marketing. So I'm expecting these people to come up with stuff that will make it to the point where once we get people to look or find this tool, even on Amazon or our website, so we can quickly gain their interest enough to where they'll look a little closer at it and then hopefully decide whether or not it might be useful in a hobby that they're in or some work that they do. And if they do determine that it might be helpful to them, then we might have a customer there. That's the name of the game. I thought since I was wrapping things up down here and getting ready to head up the house and have some supper, I'd try to get this video together and get back to the house. And after supper tonight, I'll try to, if I'm not too tired, try to get it edited where I can get it posted. If not, then maybe tomorrow, Sunday, I can find some time to uh, get the video out. I haven't been getting them out as often as I'd like to. I apologize for that, but any of you out there in the business, you know that it's, sometimes it's just can be almost overwhelming and you have to set some priorities and the business is the priority. So until the next time, happy printing.